Thomas. So whenever we find, uh, like now I intercepted this bus and I confirmed it was conveying and custom goods because these horns had not been declared at the border that they are entering into the country. So they are under category of uncustom goods under East African Community Customs Management Act 2004, Section 200, being in the position of uncustom goods. So they, are be they were being conveyed by modern coast uh, bus. So once we intercept, we bring them to, police, to the police station for verification. And now because this category of goods, they involve uh, K KWS, Kenya Police and KRA, so we, when we are doing verification, we do a joint multi-agency uh, verification. We have a KWS officer here, we have Kenya police representative. So we have done 100% verification. We have confirmed these are Nyankole cows from Uganda. Uh, they are not ivory. 
as what I can say authoritative, of course, from uh, after verifying from uh, KWS through their K9 uh, dog unit. For conveying uh, and custom goose, maximum fine is zero between is between zero to five thousand dollars. That's for the bus. For con uh, for being in the position of uncustom goods, the fine is fifty percent of the dutiful value of the of the goods involved. So basically, we have confirmed. Uh, so next is the customs proce procedure for offence compounding. So that's where we are at now. Uh, so far, we have the driver of the of the bus. They are not in custody, but they are they are free. We have not because we have not yet confirmed whether they. There is any prohibited goods. Once, they are, once, once they are, we have prohibited goods, then it comes a criminal offence. So for now, we are going to find the owner of the bus and the owner of the of the horns. I cannot confirm aut uh, authentically how they came into the, into the country, but we have a porous border at uh, Busia, even uh, Malaba, where they could be originating from, because uh, our officers are just uh, stationed at the border at the office, but the, the, the border is so wide. There are many, so many entry points. Eh? So most of the things, uh, I suspect they may, they may have passed through the porous points and then they, they are stuffed after the bus has crossed the border. Because we have scanners at the border, we, we show what is inside. Yes. Uh, from here, I'm um, inviting the owners to our Naivasha office for fence compounding. And then after they have paid the, the necessary taxes and fine, I will release the bus to the owner. Barua ni tukuni kwa namo nyewe, ni nilebeba kama extra luggage. Yo, mziwa kama mpewa kama extra luggage upewe barua. Kama ni parcel, ndi unapewa manifest. Na yu manifest, kama ni mefeka nae boda, wa wana stamp, wana niweka seal, kama jimunia jalipa. Wana niweka seal, na nenaenda na yu manifest, na sikila seal kwa namba yake. Mpaka kwa custom kama ni ya Kenya, ama custom kama ni ya URA. Wanaangalia yu seal kama imekua temper with. Kama imekua temper with, ndi usasa, sisi tutajibu maswali. Kama iku kusawa, wanafungua hizo sili wanachukua hizo mzigo wanabaki nazo kama mwenyewe asilipia na waisi weka sili wanasukisa hizo mzigo inabaki hapo kwa custom hapo hapo hata mara mingi wasasukisa mzigo mingi inabaki hapo mpaka mwenyewe alipe ndio sasa unapewa hiyo karatasi na ile amount amelipa na ile stamp wameweka ndio sasa proceed na hizo documents wakati utulifika kwa custom kama kawaida they have to check the bus lazima mfungulie kila boot kila mahali mpaka wengine na ndani ya gari nikafungulia hapo ni hiyo gari ni ngumu hata kupanda kwa juu. Mimi mwenyewe nilibeba mtu wa custom. Nikaingiza mpaka ndani ya gari. Akai check hizo gunia sote nilikuwa nimebeba. Akasema hizi viru ni zero rated. Sasa nyinyi nyinyi mmeweza proceed na gari. Tumetoka. So vile tumekuja kisumu tumesimama, wakuja kaangalia gari, wakaona kama gari iko sawa. Sasa kufika element aita ndio nikamwambia driver, huwa mara mingi tunabadilisha mafuta hapa. At least toe around 40 liters from the other tank toke kwa hita kuna comment tank ndio gari tufika na road so hapo ndio wametupata jamaa kamlisa umebeba nini akamwambia mimi naweza kufungulia boot ndio nikamfungulia boot ndio kutoka hapo ndio kwa ile tumekuwa na document anambia sisi hatujui yule mtu kuna mwenyewe haya amesema tukuje hapa naivasha kwa ile kota yao walifungua wakafanya search wakisema lisa wakasema sasa to proceed ndio tumefika kwa ofisi yao abiria wetu waliweka kwa Nissan wakaenda Nairobi sisi tukaletwa hapa barua kwa KRA pale boda ile imekuwa stamp imesema tumeruhusiwa kubeba hizo barua hizo ndio makosa ninambea yeah